Ballistic missile strike on Kiev as blasts rock Ukraine capital in fresh attack. Explosions rocked the center of Kiev on Monday morning as Russia launched a new airstrike, hours after unleashing dozens of missiles and drones on targets across the country. Yuri Anat, spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, said the airstrike on Kiev had been conducted with ballistic missiles thought to be Iskanders, and possibly also S-300 and S-400 missiles. Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said there were explosions in the capital's central districts and that emergency services had been dispatched. Emergency services have responded to a call near the center of the capital. The attack on Kyiv continues. Don't leave the shelters, he said. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko said that if any other country wanted to join a Russia-Belarus union there could be nuclear weapons for everyone. The Kremlin said on Monday that a vacuum was being formed in the area of arms control as a result of poor relations between a number of states. The governor of Russia's Belgorod region, which borders Ukraine, said several frontier settlements were being shelled simultaneously by Ukrainian forces. Vyacheslav Gladkov said two industrial facilities in the town of Shebekino had been shelled and that four employees had been wounded. Russia put five aircraft out of action in an attack on a military target in western Ukraine and caused a fire. At the Black Sea port of Odessa in heavy airstrikes early on Monday, Ukrainian officials said. Ukraine's military said the attack on Odessa port had caused a fire and damaged infrastructure but did not specify whether the damage threatened grain exports. Ukraine said it had shot down 29 of the 35 drones and 37 of 40 cruise missiles fired overnight by Russia. The Kyiv military administration said its air defenses had shot down over 40 of the targets, fired at it in what was Russia's 15th air assault on the city this month. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham disputed Russian criticism of his support for Ukraine, saying he had simply praised the spirit of Ukrainians in resisting a Russian invasion with assistance provided by Washington.